We'd been staying in Bahamas for about the past month and I decided that it was time to do a little staycation and film a comparison between the two biggest hotels on the island, Atlantis versus the Bahamar. Here we go. And we're back. Where are the boys? Oh, these guys. <laughs> First up was the Bahamar. Originally opened in 2017, it reminded me of a Vegas hotel. We're gonna do a comparison to see what's better, Baja Mar or the Atlantis? The rooms were great. Brand new, full shower, full bath, stocked mini fridge, and a great bed. So we just got the Baja Mar. We had to do a COVID test to get in the joint, and we have to wait in our room till we get the test results. <laughs> we negative. They still got us locked away in here though. Ready to gamble? Ready to gamble. I got 50 cool. bucks. Been here an hour and a half, finally getting out. Let's go. They copied this after the win. You get drunk enough, you think you're in Vegas. The casino was amazing. Exact replica of the Wynn Casino in Las Vegas, which is large. Pet him. I want to pet him. I'm going in for a pet. Woo! <laughs> I wonder what that one. That one's not moving so well. <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. Flipper. Why don't we get a cabana in order to buy the pool? Alright. Cabana light is large. Oh. Aww. <laughs> yeah, hey guys, don't wait up. It's fine. Don't wait up. Look how many fries we left behind. I know, jeez. Jesus I Christ. Mean, they gave us so many. I'm the only fat ass that ate all my fries. Yeah, we'll just so we're going to talk to the guys. Pet some sea life. Well, yeah. Can we see the animals or is it open? Well, uh, unfortunately, the animals are all fat. I was for the date. Oh, no. Crazy that they just leave the gate open for people to just come here and, <laughs> and go for a swim. <laughs> <laughs> the aquarium and sea life attractions were cool, but not up to par with what I would expect from seeing the rest of this hotel. Oh, it's, it's pretty big. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Chloe>. <laughs> Be home to a new water park. They're here? coming for you, Atlantis. Why is nobody on this dock? What's happening? <laughs> No swimming, no jumping, no diving. Hear the guy blow the whistle when you guys are in there? What is, what's that sign Quick, for? use the towels so you guys don't look like you jumped in. You blew the whistle? Yeah. Quick, dry yourselves off so we can be like, they weren't in the water. We're talking about completely dry. <laughs> Where did it say? Oh, it says right there. No jumping, idiots. Oh, sorry about that. The beach was okay. It was nothing spectacular as far as the Bahamas is concerned, but they did win some points on the pool. They're are a lot of them. I, they don't Look at this guy. Oh, he wants beef. Yeah. This guy wants to smoke. Yeah. Wait, the guy's right there. Just be quiet. <laughs> he gets kicked out. At least we got her on camera. It was Chloe. Hey. Was right? Hey. Zach said, don't do it. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> 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 no, 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 Jack, Jack, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. <laughs> booked, booked. <laughs> they can, but they prefer to stand. So I've, I've seen a few kind of walk off. It looks all like how a swan. Look at that. We tried to break in. We ended up getting a National Geographic lesson. Didn't work out that well. Bad behavior gets rewarded, folks. <laughs> Yes, we get to see you airball on a real court. Oh! oh. Ooh! So, we totally didn't film, but we won. I filmed. You didn't get the win. You didn't get the win. 
Big facts, no printer. We won. I hit the, I hit the three. She hit the she hit the game winning basket. Mini putt time. Yes, we're neither of us are certain when the if they're open today. Ah. Uh, they're not open today. No. The whole day. All right then. Okay, that makes sense. Huh? Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> One thing I will say about the Baja Mar is the service is horrendous. Nobody knows what they're doing and they take forever and they just customer service is not on point. Yesterday it took us about two hours to check in, do the COVID test, and now we're at the mini putt place and I'm calling to see if it's open and the front desk woman has no idea what time it opens so she calls the mini putt place and she, then she gets back on the line with me and tells me that no one's answering. <laughs> and I told her, yeah, I'm aware no one's here because I am. It's closed. Service sucks at Baja Mar, people. Beautiful hotel. Shit service. This is the whole reason we came here for Katsuya. <laughs> this hotel does have amazing restaurants, but unfortunately nothing was open when we were there, so I couldn't film any of the food. There's another area over here. This resort is huge. So we discovered another section here. Might be the residence side, might be the adult pool, not sure. I think this property is massive. I've never been to Atlantis and everybody's telling me it's like triple the size. So we'll see when we go this weekend. So for the record, I've never been to Atlantis. She's been a million times. This will be my first time going and honestly upon first impression of this hotel, it's super old. Like compared to Baja Mar, we're checking into our hotel after we get our COVID results and then I'll show you guys what the Atlantis actually looks like. Been here for, when did we get here? 11? Two hours. Off to a rocky start. This reminds me of like an old casino hotel in Vegas. A little something for the kids. For the kids. All right, so what was worse so far this checking in? Baja Mar or Atlantis? 10 times worse. It's been 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 4 hours. Atlantis is using here. some big points and it needs to capitalize on this. I don't know if it's going to hold up. I gave the room a 3 out of 5 because although newly renovated, it still seemed like they cheaped out. This is the bathroom. In case you're wondering that stud is, that's me. Showers look like they're from Super 8. Hotel. You hear that? The baby upstairs? I don't know if you guys can hear this on camera, but there's literally a don't, baby. Don't talk, don't talk, don't talk. Atlantis for the kids. For the kids. Trying to have a nice romantic vacation or we're older people. Beware the babies. Yeah. Wow. wow. You can have anything you That's want sick. as long as there's nothing. The property Atlantis, I gave a 4 out of 5 because it is massive, but it does need a little bit of a facelift. <laughs> this guy's just coming in. Whoa. You can swim in that? Yeah, you can. We got a big board right here. King of the ocean. So it's like the MGM in Vegas. Birthday today. Oh, the gentleman just walked Yes. Of course. Will we do something for him? I'm sure we can. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to me, sweet 16. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Zach. Fire the 18. Thanks for the vibes, Baby, how do you feel about being 59? Going to give Sea Fire a four out of five on the food. It was really good, highly recommended. It. it was actually really fucking good. Atmosphere, the service, the birthday singing, everything was fire. Go there. This just shows how old this hotel is. You gotta make a call still? No. No, no. Okay. And this is the new room, king size. For my queen. Queen smoke bite. Putting this in the vlog before I forget, but I just called down to room service because there's nothing in the mini fridge and I was like, can you guys send up a few bottles of water? And they're like, I'm sorry, sir. There are water fountains on each floor. 
Do I look like I'm in elementary school? I need bottles of water. They're like, go down to Pluto. Where the fuck is Pluto? I'm on Saturn. The Atlantis gets a five out of five on pools. So they have a pool for everybody. Adults, babies, teenagers, water parks, dolphins, you name it, they got it. We're gonna go explore the property today. Hopefully the sun comes out and we're gonna hit all the water slides. Atlantis also gets a 5 out of 5 for activities. There is so much stuff to do there you could never get bored, especially if you have a family with kids. Nobody's home. Oh yeah. Oh wow. So it's like a catch-22. No one's here. This is amazing, but also nothing's open. Look, <laughs> dolphins can. Came to the dolphin experience to see what's going on here. Make sure this ain't no Sea World, no mistreatment. All the sun's out. This is nice. I'm not a big fan of zoos or watching any animal in captivity, although Atlantis does claim that all of their dolphins are rescues and rehabilitation cases, but still not cool. That was bad, guys. Don't do the dolphin experience. Definitely don't paddleboard with them. I thought they were gonna be like on the paddleboard, like swimming they were around. Gonna come up and shit. Yeah, they avoided us like fucking coronavirus. Maybe they got the social distance memo. Yeah, it's fine, babe. Don't wait up. It's cool. I would have rather have experienced Atlantis like this. Though. I couldn't imagine it being. Packed, like, it could be like a Disney World, no? Of course. I think this beach is way nicer than Baja Mars. Yeah. It's, it's like Bahamas picturesque blue. The beach at Atlantis was beautiful. It was significantly better than the Baja Mar. I will give them that. And we did have a lot of fun in the waves. Holy, this was in your hair? That was all my hair, babe. Jesus Christ. Atlantis or Baja Mar? Atlantis, for sure. Really? Atlantis, no cap. Really? Atlantis, definitely. Just better. Yeah, eh? The beach is better. Except the room. Service are better. Mm. Really, I like the room here. Mm. Baja Mar. Mm. Shit. Baja Mar yeah. The bathroom here looks like a Super 8 motel. Yeah, the bathroom's gross. Get the hell out of here. Peace out, Atlantis. See you soon or see you never? See you next time. See you soon. See you soon. See you never. Jokes. All in all, both hotels are beautiful, but if you have a family and kids, I would recommend Atlantis. If you are an older couple and you want to relax, gamble, and eat well, I would suggest the Baja Mar.